to my channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. This is kind of a ombre eyeliner tutorial. I really wanted to kind of do something fall and something kind of unique and different. So I decided to go with an ombre eyeliner and here we go. So the only three colors that I used came from Morphe 35O palettes and then one Urban Decay eyeshadow. It's only three eyeshadows and I'm in love with this look. I think it's super easy and I think that honestly anyone could do it. It kind of looks a little difficult maybe? I don't know. It looks a little difficult but it's really really not. Like I said there's only three eyeshadows that I use. So yeah if you guys want to see how to get this ombre eyeliner makeup look then just keep on watching. So I'm first going to start out by priming my eyes using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. I used this in my last video and I loved it. And then I'm just going to set that using the second shade in the 35O Matte by Morphe. I'm just setting that to give myself a nice base to make sure that none of the colors move around. And I'm just going to take some Tarte Shape Tape on the back of my hand and I'm going to take a brush and kind of start carving out where I want that wing to be. I like using concealer because you can kind of get a rough shape of what you want the liner to look like and then we can always clean it up later if we need to. And I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape because it's very pigmented and it's very light so it'll make the shadows on top a lot brighter. Then I'm just going to tap over it with my finger just to blend it out a little bit. But now we kind of have the general shape that we want and we know where we need to lay shadow down on top of. So the first shade we're going to go in with is this last shade in the palette in the 35O Shimmer by Morphe. We're going to go in with this very coppery orangey shade. I'm going to kind of do an ombre from orange to red to black. I really want to use this shade on the inner portion of my eye. I'm just taking a small liner brush and I'm going to pick up some of that shade. And I'm going to start putting this on about the inner third of my lid. Then using that same brush, we're going to dip into this shade right here in the palette. This is just kind of a dark red orange, and we're just going to place that in about the middle third of our eye. You don't really have to worry about blending the colors too much yet. We'll focus more on that when we're nearing the finish line. So I'm kind of stopping right when I get outside of the colored part of my eye. Then I'm going to go into the shade Blackout from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to put this on the rest of the part of our eye that we don't have any shadow yet. And don't worry if you get a little messy outside of that line because you can always clean it up with a makeup wipe. I love using this shadow. I think it's, it's so black and it's so matte. This is one of my favorite black eyeshadows that I've ever used. Now I'm just going to go back in with each shade that I used and I'm just going to blend the colors into each other a little bit. So I'm starting with the coppery shade that we used first and I'm just going to pack that back on the inner third of our lid and blend it into that red. Then go back in with the red and blend it into the black. And if you need to, go back over the black to make it a little bit more intense. Then we're just going to take a makeup wipe and we're going to clean up those outer edges to make that wing really sharp. So that's pretty much it for the eyes for now. We're going to go ahead and move on to the face. The first product I'm going to go in with is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. I used this in my last video and I loved it so much with the Wet n Wild foundation. So that's the combo I'm going to be using again today. So I'm just rubbing this all over my face. And then I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation in the shade Shell Ivory. I do put on quite a bit of this foundation when I use it just so I can get a bit more coverage out of it. And I'm just going to blend this in using the Eco Tools Beauty Sponge. This isn't my favorite beauty sponge, but I do like it. It's just a little firm. I wish it was a little softer, but I do really like the shape of it. And I do like it when I'm trying to keep the foundation and concealer away from the sharp areas like the wing that we created because of the edge that it has on it. And I actually went in with two layers of this foundation just so I could get even more coverage out of it because my skin hates me right now. I'm also going to use that Wet n Wild Concealer up under my eyes to highlight. I'm also going to put it down the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and my chin just to bring a little bit of light to those areas and give a little dimension to the face. And then I'm just going to blend that out using my Eco Tool sponge. 
I also really love using this up under my eyes because I feel like if you use the shorter flat side, it really pushes all the product that you can get up under your eye. And you can get all the way up to your lashes. And as always, I'm going to be setting my face using my RCMA No Color Powder. This is the main powder that I trust on my face. I'm just going to use this to set under my eyes and to set the areas that I'm going to contour. To bronze my skin, I'm going to be using the Pure Cosmetics Mineral Glow Bronzing Powder. I'm just going to take this on a pointed contour brush and just bronze up my face. And what I love doing with this brush is first applying it using the pointed end and then kind of turning it on its side and blending that color upwards. And just to clean that up, I'm going to use that RCMA powder just to bake up under that contour a little bit. Alright, we're going to move back into the eyes really quickly just so we can finish those up. First, going to do my brows using the Winky Lux Brow Pencil. I've been really enjoying this brow pencil lately. I think it's supposed to be a universal brow shade. And I like the spoolie okay on this. I wish it was a little softer. It's a little, little harsh. I did the brows a little bold today because the eyes are bold and I just want this to be a very bold look. So I did do the brows a little bolder than I generally do. And I just set that down using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper in the shade Medium to Dark. And I'm also going to go ahead and wipe away that bake. For mascara, I'm going to be going in with the Ducci, uh, I don't know how to say the name, D-O-U-C-C-E Max Lash Volumizer Mascara. And I'm just going to put this on my top lashes. And then on my bottom lashes, I'm going to be going in with Benefit's Roller Lash Mascara. I love this as a bottom lash mascara. It is so beautiful. It makes your lashes look so long. Then I'm just going to line my waterline using the Bella Pierre Gel Eyeliner in the shade Ebony. And I forgot to do this before I did my mascara, but I want to add a little bit of that blackout to the lower lash line. Just going in with that same brush that we used earlier, and I'm just smoking that on the outer third of my lower lash line. Just to kind of connect it with that top wing a little bit. And I'm just going to get that as close to the lower lash line as I can. I'm just going to take a brush with no product on it and just smoke that bottom lash line out. Then I'm just going to highlight using the Cougar Mineral Face and Body Shimmer in the shade Diamond Kiss. And then last but not least is lips. I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors Desi It's Katie Lipstick in the shade More Creamer Please. I love these lipsticks so much, I cannot get enough. Alright guys, that completes this look. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this fall ombre eyeliner. I really love the way that it turned out. It's so kind of Halloween-y and fall, and I just love it. I think it's really cool. I mean, it wasn't too hard to do. I literally only used three shades for the actual color portion of this look, so... I'm loving this and I think it was not hard at all. I think that anyone could do this. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos just like this one. And also don't forget that in my last video there was a giveaway. So make sure you go to that video so you can be entered into the giveaway. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye! Come tell me if you like it. Cool. You like? I said cool. Dude. No, cool. I hate it. the heck